And hello everyone, Peter here once again. Today we're going to show you how to draw the most incredible triangle maybe ever. I I wouldn't be too hesitant to, well I'm a little bit hesitant you can tell, but I'm not too hesitant to say this is maybe the best triangle you've ever drawn. So draw along with me. I'm going slow so you can keep up. Um, but yeah, get a pen, a piece of paper, a pencil could do, um, even draw on the desk. I've done, I'm going to be honest, I'm not proud of this, but I have done a fair amount of desk drawing in my day. It's school I'm talking about. I've drawn on my own desk, even this one, it can, this one right here. Um, but I'm not, this, this desk I'm allowed to draw on because it's my desk. I paid for it. I can do whatever I want with it, but at school, there were strict rules about drawing on desks, and sometimes the administration, the teachers would, you know, they would go a little bit crazy because there would be there would be a rash of people drawing on desks, you know, um, various things, less, some less savory than others. And I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest once again and say that everything I drew was fairly savory. Um, I drew things that, um, you know, made the desks better. I drew a lot of those those S's with this, you know, you draw six lines and connect them. Some people now call them, I think, like Stussy S's. Back in my day, I never knew them as that. Some people, everyone had different little, you know, um, they had different little rumors going around about what they were. Someone told me one time, and a lot of people thought at one time that they had something to do with Candid Camera, like the S, something to do with smiling for Candid Camera, or um, something to do with, um, you know, I have no idea. Anyways, the point is, I just found out recently, and this blew my mind, I feel like I'm, I'm a complete fraud, of a of a public schooler. I can I feel like I'm a complete fraud when it comes to this. Someone just told me uh, that you could chain those s's. You could chain them together. And there's something lurking in the back of my mind that told me that you could chain them together, but I am completely sure that I never did chain them together. I never did that. And I thought I was good at drawing s's. I'm pretty sure I was good at drawing those s's, but I never. I never chained them? How, how good could I have been at drawing those S's if I never chained them? I don't know. Uh, it makes me a little bit sad, a little bit embarrassed, a little bit ashamed. Uh, but, you know, sometimes you just got to take, you know, take the L and keep going. And, um, you know, sometimes I have, I'm going to admit, I do have a little post-it note here where I have drawn some of the S's and I've tried chaining them. And it didn't go so well, mostly because I think you just got to be in the right time, place, age, and grade to, for that stuff to work out well, to learn how to do it. But, you know, anyways, if you don't know what S's I'm talking about, you're probably totally mystified and lost. Um, that's okay. Just, uh, just, just go on with your life. Um, but uh, it's gonna, everything's going to be okay for everyone. These S's saved a lot of kids um, boredom, from boredom, in boredom. And um, I'm sure these S's got carved into a lot of desks, drawn on a lot of desks. And uh, most of the things I'd draw on desks were just little doodles. I did a lot of doodling in school. That's how a lot of my actual drawing started, you know, when I should have been taking notes, when I should have, you know, been keeping, you know, dry, writing down stuff on paper uh, so I could remember it for later. I was actually just doodling. Yeah. But you know, doodling it it kind of it kind of for me it uh, it occupied a part of my brain that would have otherwise been daydreaming. So I don't think it's that bad of a thing. This is me justifying it, but I think it's a good justification. When you're writing notes, you can write notes, and but then some part of your brain still kind of walks off into a little uh, you know a little sunny field somewhere and starts you know kicking the heads off daisies. But then we start doodling you kind of control that part of your brain and that part of your brain, part of your brain starts drawing lines instead. You, could, you draw these aimless, very aimless lines. You don't plan them out. So you don't have to think about it too much. And the rest of your brain can concentrate on what the, what the teacher's saying. Sure. I admit, uh, you're not like writing stuff down. You can, you can take a break to write stuff down every now and then, but, um, I don't know. There's like a little balance to be found there. That's why maybe you should, maybe the balance is take notes and doodle in the margins. I uh, had no balance, almost, and I just covered all my papers completely in doodles. But it doesn't mean I didn't hear any of the things teachers were saying and I didn't retain any knowledge, because I still, 
I uh, still did fairly well in school. So maybe doodling is a secret. Uh, but, um, you know, don't tell your teachers I said that because I know a lot of your teachers, some of your teachers, I have heard this, some of your teachers do like me. I've heard of at least two teachers that like me. And that's good enough for me, okay? I think they're art teachers, though. So they don't they probably don't care if you doodle. Okay. Okay, I hope you um all completed this uh, triangle successfully. It's this is the this is an advanced level triangle. So if you completed it successfully, give yourself a pat on the back. And um you should if this is for an art class, you should probably get like an A plus or an A. It's an area between an A and A plus, A minus if you didn't complete it um confidently. Okay, goodbye.